Hello, my name is Sarah, an artist who moved to Scotland in 2017. I've spent the majority of my time traveling all over, photographing, filming, and painting the beautiful Highlands, which I fall more in love with year after year. I recently embarked on my biggest project ever, to paint my way along the entire coast of Scotland, all 11,000 miles of it. Subscribe to follow along the highs and lows as I learn how to navigate the challenges of long distance hiking while staying present and capturing the beauty as I go. early morning air. It's actually quite chilly this morning, so, um, but it's supposed to heat up a lot, so I'm definitely going to wear a lot of layers. But it's day one. I am getting ready to leave. The bus is going to be in town, I think, in 35 minutes, so I need to kind of hurry. But I wanted to start the video by just telling you what I'm doing. Obviously, I have an intro for this whole series, but I've been putting this dream off for a long time and it's all because I just thought I wasn't ready or like I had to do it all in one go for it to count and I just got to this point where I was like why am I putting off my dream for these silly little rules that I'm making up so I'm just doing it <laughs> I don't have the luxury of just you know, stopping my life and going on an 11,000 mile journey. So I'm just going to do it piece by piece whenever I can. Some days I might go for a few miles, some days or weeks I might do multi-day treks that cover 50 miles, but I'm going to find ways to fit it into my life because I'm just sick of putting off my dreams. There will be plenty of camping trips in the future, but for right now, I'm starting in my own backyard. I live in Maury County, and we have a beautiful 50-mile stretch of coast. It's not too far away from here, and I want to walk step-by-step step from east to west. Here comes the sun! <laughs> But either way, what this means for my channel is that I will be doing a lot of hiking videos and traveling and exploring and painting. And if you're into that kind of thing, you know, make sure you subscribe before you go. But today's journey is a little bit shorter. It's about five miles. Uh, and then I have to come back home, get a bunch of work done tomorrow. And then the next day we're going to a wedding. So then on Sunday, I'll pick up where I left off and finish this little stretch that I want to do. And then that'll be this episode you're watching. <laughs> Not only do I want to share the beauty of Scotland, but I also really want to inspire people to go out and chase their dreams. If they are massive dreams that you think are impossible, you can find ways to break it into smaller pieces and incorporate it into your life and make it possible. Anyways, I need to go get dressed and finish packing my bag, so let's go. I'm already tired <laughs> and my feet kind of hurt, but I think it's just the the early stage, just getting used to walking a lot. 
and my backpack is quite heavy because I have a massive thing of water and lots of food and sketchbook stuff and all of that. So I'm gonna have a little snack and then maybe do a little sketch to start. Okay, so we're on the trail. I had to put my jacket on because it was getting a little cold, but now the sun is coming out. So I don't really know what to expect. <laughs> I've been to so many spots along this coast, along the entire like length of the Mori coastline, but I've never walked the full thing step by step. I just stopped for another sketch and realized I'm already really hungry. <laughs> like, I need to eat lunch soon. It's only 11 a.m., I think, so I've been on the trail for an hour and a half, but I've been doing a lot of sketching already. I, I'm like in this mode where I don't want to miss capturing something that really tells the story of the place. Um, even though I know I have a, I have many, many, many miles to go. <laughs> it's just, I feel like because it's so new, I'm like, ooh, I have to stop and sketch that. Ooh, I have to stop and sketch that. <laughs> I've already filled two pages. Cullen Beach is only like, I don't know, maybe a half a mile away. And they have a little food truck that opened at 10. So I'm gonna go get an egg roll.
huge cave. <laughs> My finger's quite large, so but you get the idea. Walked along on this trail, come up here. And now I am turning this way to go along the coast because you could also go that way towards the Port Naki village. But this, it's a little bit longer, but it like loops down and eventually meets the town but it's much prettier. having myself a little picnic and check this out. I am so excited that I brought mochi. There's sesame mochi, green tea mochi, and taro mochi. Yes!
ended my first day at the Port Naki Harbor. And by that point, I had run out of water and food, and I was utterly drained. So I decided to make my way to the bus stop and find my way home. But as I mentioned, I would continue in a couple days to finish the 10 mile route. I learned a lot that first day, especially about my physical limitations but I also realized my mental limitations can be just as debilitating. And this is something I will be working on over the course of the whole journey. Breaking the long journey into multiple pieces is definitely helping my body acclimate to this process, but I would absolutely love it if anyone has any helpful comments or tips for long distance hiking. One really important way for me to kind of distill everything I experience on the trail and in my sketchbook is to do little studies or sometimes I call them postcards in the studio at home. And it might be something I saw in person on the trail or just something I felt along the way. But either way, it's really important to spend this time in the studio. A windy start to day two. <laughs> I'm walking that way. Whew. All right, so it's obviously a different day, day two of the walk. Forgot I had a microphone. I um, hope that's better. So yeah, I learned so much on day one <laughs> and I made some changes. And the best one is that I now have a water bladder. So, you know, the water is in a thing in my backpack and I just use the straw to drink it. And it's like, duh, <laughs> I've had one in the past, like when I lived in Denver uh, and I kind of forgot about them. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, just continuing on. It's a much cooler day today, so I'm doing much better. <laughs> I was dying of heat last time and I got kind of dehydrated by the end of the walk. Um, so this time I'm taking more precautions, drinking every 10 minutes, at least a little bit, and making sure like if the sun comes out, I am covered. This is like a little sun hoodie. So feeling really good today.
Okay, hopefully you can hear me without too much wind. But um, yeah, it's been an amazing second day so far. I came from over here, uh, kind of scrambled down the rocks <laughs> um, right after you leave Port Naki, walking uh, west, obviously. You have a lot of these kind of jutting rocks, jagged rocks, and very rocky beach. Um, you can stay up above and walk on like a very flat, kind of boring trail. <laughs> but if you really want to get like the coastal vibes, come down here. Uh, so I'm going to sit and sketch some rocks because they're just so beautiful. And then I'm going to explore the rock pools a little bit and see if I can see any like starfish or anything. Um, I just saw or I just met a hiker walking along and she said by Bucky, which is where I'm headed today, there are like 40 or 50 seals on the beach. So I really hope they're still there when I arrive. That would be amazing. Oh, there we go. The wind keeps picking up. <laughs> um, the trail between Fenechti and Bucky is a little bit more flat and I mean there's some pretty stuff too but I kind of just want to get some miles in on, on that little stretch uh, and you know if there's something interesting I'll sketch it along the way but seals! <laughs> I think I'm just gonna draw some of the jagged peaks um, but I just came from up there, which is a golf course, and I was really scared of getting hit by a golf ball. <laughs> so I just went as fast as possible and I didn't film or sketch anything up there. But now I'm in Bucky, technically. 
I'm gonna keep going until I get to the other side of the town because I think that's where the seals are. This bit is very industrial, so I'm just gonna skip on ahead. I made it past the industrial bit and now I'm back into a little bit better. It's still not great. <laughs> Seals are literally behind this stone um, kind of slope thing. There's like f at least 50 seals and they're sunning on the edge of the rocks. So I'm trying to keep well away, keep my distance. They are absolutely massive, bigger than me. <laughs> and you know, if they're if they have young, I, I don't want to scare them or anything. So I'm kind of walking around the different areas and using the longest zoom I have on my phone to see them. <laughs> I just sat here sketching the seals and it was just so magical and cute. I could watch them all day, but I am so hot and tired and hungry and thirsty and I need to find the bus stop. So I'm sure I'll see them again at some point along the coast. But wow, this was an amazing ending to today. Before I go, I want to thank all of you for watching, for hanging out with me, all of the excitement and encouragement you've given me over on Instagram when I started sharing this, and of course here on YouTube. If you like it, of course subscribe, and if you want to follow along the journey, and thumbs up always helps, but I just hope you really enjoy this and feel like you're walking this trail with me. So I will see you again very soon, everyone. Take care. Thank you.